Good morning. It's Tuesday and I'm at school. It feels so good outside this morning, y'all. I am wearing a dress that has, you know, like a tank top, top, and flip-flops. So yesterday I wore a dress that was kind of like this with a cardigan. So when we went outside, it was nice to take it off and have my tank top dress on. So yeah, it's supposed to be like 85 again today. However, they are calling for rain for like the next two weeks. Two weeks. I have a new morning thingy on my board this morning. I wanted to show you guys. Yesterday I did the Mindful Monday and my kids had to respond to a question. And today I found this on Pinterest as well. And it says, if you were an emoji, which one would you be and why? And I'm going to give them a sticky note and they can write their answer and then put it next to the emoji that they would want to be. I don't think I've given you guys an update on my praying mantis egg case lately. I know some of you have been asking and are patiently waiting just like we are. Uh, no praying mantises yet. So you can see there it is. It does look like it's more um, compacted. I'm not sure. And there is a little hole on there. My kids think the praying mantises are gonna come out of that hole. I have no idea. But I have this little water bottle. I think you're supposed to spritz it like around it a couple of times a week just to make sure it's, you know, not too dry. And I wanted to show you Paisley's watermelons. Look at this. They are like crazy growing. There's also uh, something else in there. I think it's lavender. I'm not sure. I can't, no, maybe it's not. I don't remember. But those are doing good. I like to turn them away from the sun. Good morning, teachers. This is just a reminder. Today, I, this morning, I have to have your absences in for from now through the end of the year. I'll tell you what we do, so I have to get those in. Also, if you tutored any time since uh, April the 15th, those last few days of tutoring, you need to have that approved this morning or it can't go into payroll. So this is your last morning to do that. Also, hourly folks, your payroll's going in this morning. Everything needs to be approved uh, before 8.30 this morning. Thank you. We are um, finishing up the school year the second week of June, which is like a month from now. And so if any teachers are going to take time off or we have a work day tomorrow, which I'm going to talk about that. But um, we have to go ahead and put our absences in today. Today's the last day. But I'm going to be working, so that doesn't apply to me. Tomorrow, I don't think I've mentioned anything about this, but I work and live in North Carolina. And North Carolina is, oh my goodness, like number 50, no, number 48 in the state for teacher pay. And so tomorrow in Raleigh, a bunch of teachers, like thousands, like 10,000 or more teachers are going to Raleigh for like a teacher walkout, kind of like a protest or advocacy rally uh, for teachers. So because so many teachers were getting subs for tomorrow, there weren't enough subs to cover all the classes. And so I think there's been like over 15, somewhere between 15 and 20 counties closed tomorrow. So I will be working, but that was the bell. My kids are gonna be coming in any time now. So I'm going to get off here, but I will check back in with you guys later. I like the blue background. The eggs are clear, remember? And they have the black dot in the middle. Can I use the dot? Can I get the dot on my arm because it itches? Yeah. Come on, 
They're all in water, so there's blue around them. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to um, not cover the frog blue. Keep going. You gotta keep going all the way around. Until we fill up all yeah. these cups. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, you can hear three. Where did I go? The tadpole grows back legs. And we can also look at the picture to help us. Yes, you're right. Corn. So did they. I saw them too. Four. Two. Two. Oh, one, two. Now you're going to Yes. Then the tadpole grows front legs. It's not really yellow. Well, why don't you ask Bryce if you can borrow That's too big. You go get this. We need a brown one. Try. It doesn't matter if you go on the side because maybe tomorrow we're going to cut it. Uh, I need yellow. How did the cheese? Make sure your pieces are equal. Look, this one's a little bit bigger. Be careful when you draw your lines. It's okay if it's a little bit bigger. Just be careful. Here is our fair share picnic. So this group did thirds. You can see they have a third of the bread in each space, a third of the cheese, a third of the ham, and then a third of the cookie. This group did halves. So they have everything in half here. The plates in half, the placemat, and the cookie. Here is a group that did fourths. Well, they actually had four and then they ended up with only two because I had to move some groups around. And then this is a group that did three. So they had thirds. This group has the cutest little cookies with the sprinkles. They did fourths. This group did fourths. And this group did halves. Well, my kids are all gone home for the day and I really need to straighten up because this, this day has been so crazy. I haven't even had time to straighten as I go. It's just like, okay, next thing. Okay, throw this down, next thing. Actually, it's not that bad. It just, I've been kind of working on it a little by little. I had car riders this afternoon, so I'm actually just now getting back to my room. So yeah, I am working tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually a teacher work day. And it wasn't, hang on one second. Let me get this situated here. I'm just gonna talk to you guys for a second. So tomorrow, Wednesday, May 16th, there are going to be thousands of educators from North Carolina that are going to Raleigh to the state legislature to confront state lawmakers about some of the issues that teachers are seeing in public schools, especially in North Carolina. Many schools have outdated textbooks. Our assistant jobs have been cut. Every year we lose assistants. Our classroom budgets have been cut, so there's no funding for new books or new supplies or new manipulatives or materials or all the things that we need in a classroom. And let's face it, teachers are undervalued and underpaid in North Carolina. 
So teachers from all over the state are going to Raleigh tomorrow in support of education and they are gonna have a chance to speak with lawmakers about these issues and about the funding for the schools and for the teachers and it's supposed to be a pretty massive rally. So due to that, many, many teachers across the state, tens of thousands of teachers are taking tomorrow off without pay to go rally in support of education. And there's just so many issues in the school systems in North Carolina and it's just gotten to the point where people are fed up and our kids are tested like crazy all the time. We're testing, I'm testing for three whole weeks this month, which leaves my kids to busy work at their seats. They're not getting what they need from me during that time. We are testing math 11 days this month and it's just, it's just out of control. And our kids are expected to do so much at such a, such a young age that it's overwhelming and teachers can't do it all and there's no support. And honestly, people think if you're not in education, a lot of people think that all we do is babysit all day. And it's just, it's just not, that's just not what it is. So enough of the ranting. I wish I could be in Raleigh tomorrow to support all the teachers in our state, but Raleigh is about a four and a half hour drive from here and I have my daughter tomorrow. So it's just not feasible for me. And our county has closed tomorrow and we have a teacher work day. So I will be here tomorrow. But I'm still thinking about all of the teachers in North Carolina that are rallying and I hope that something good comes out of it because we need some support. We need some help from the state. We need money from the state. And the standard of living goes up every year and our pay just doesn't. And it's hard to compete with that. You know, their teaching has become one of those careers where people just don't want to do it anymore. And in 2021, I think, new teachers, brand new teachers who get a job in public education in North Carolina will have no retirement benefits. And it's just, that's just sad. Why would anybody want to do it if there's no retirement benefits? So anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. I don't know if I'll be filming tomorrow just because I'll be having a teacher work day. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But I am going to straighten up a little bit and then um, I need to make a list of things I want to do for tomorrow and I need to check my emails. So I'm going to do that. Paisley is with me. She has gymnastics so we'll be leaving here to go to gymnastics in a little while. She's upstairs right now. So yeah, I will check back in with you guys when we get ready to head home. So I was gonna show you guys my board after my kids had time to fill out their sticky notes. So they were supposed to write on a sticky note if they could be an emoji, which one would they be and why. So I have these up here. This one says I would be the crazy one because I be Coco or cuckoo. <laughs> a silly face, one, because I'm silly. I love the crazy because I love to be crazy. I didn't have any for him. <laughs> Nobody wants to be smart. And then my cool emoji, I'm going to be the cool emoji because it smiles. I would be cool. The glasses emoji because he's cool and cool glasses and a good smile. The cool emoji because I like to be cool. This is a straight face. She said, I would be the emoji because I just like that it is straight faced. This one, I love this one. I would be, I would like to be the tired one because I'm always tired in the mornings. Sleepy one because I'm always sleepy. I fall asleep all the time. 
this one broke my heart. I don't even know who wrote these, but this one said, I'm sad because I never see my dad. And if I was an emoji, the sad one because I am upset. So sad. And the happy emoji. I would be a love emoji because I love someone. I would be the heart emoji because I am happy. I would be the heart emoji because I love being happy. I feel happy because I get to go to my daddy's. I would be the heart emoji because I love my cat, my other cat, and my dog. I would be the heart one because I love it. So those are cute. I have 20 kids and there's only 18 sticky notes up there. So a couple of kids didn't do it, but so this afternoon, one of my students was getting ready to erase the board and then somebody else said, no, don't erase it. She's going to write something else up there tomorrow. So I think they like coming in and seeing um, what I have on the board for them to do. So I might think of something to do for Thursday, but I've been talking to a girl on my team and so I haven't really gotten much done and I have about an hour until I have to leave. So I'm going to go ahead and get some work done. Okay guys, we are in the car and Paisley's a hot mess because she's been playing outside. I found five, well my friend found five secret hideouts. And we went in them. Wait, she's been finding three, secret hideouts. So I worked on this novel study paper bag book that I found on Teachers Pay Teachers. And I wanted to go ahead and get a sample one ready so I could show my kids. And while I was making it, I was thinking the whole time, this is going to take forever. So, I forgot to show you guys before I walked out, but I'll show you tomorrow. So, I don't even know if I'm going to do it. I guess I'm going to do it. It's just going to take some time. But, anyways, we are headed off to gymnastics. So, I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know if you liked it. Leave a comment down below and just check in with me. Let me know how you're doing or just say hi. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we will see you guys hopefully on our work day tomorrow. Bye! -bye.